And I went to see my partners and I said, look, I had this experience back you know, 10 years earlier at a rendering plant where they made pet food. And it was a multi-billion dollar business with just two flavors, basically the two pastes. Why don't we do the same thing and cut our development costs dramatically? I think we could save 12%, maybe 15% right to the bottom line. That's exactly what we did. And boy, did it work. So what happened was we started acquiring all of our, and now I'm giving, you know, Melissa, you know, and Johnny, basically how this company became different from all the others it was competing with. It was from that pivot moment, that change that I had learned so many years earlier, just randomly in a pet food rendering plant. And, and, and what I'm suggesting to you is in life, keep these experiences because you never know when you're going to take it out like an arrow out of your, your quiver and, you know, and, and just use it as a tool. That's the key. You want to have those arrows ready to put into your crossbow or your bow and arrow when you need them, as I did that day. Because as soon as we figured that out, we said, why don't we go acquire all of our competitors? We can effectively almost overpay for them and then drastically cut everybody out of the business because the business was growing so fast, they would just get new jobs right away.